Neither can win it, and the ball is on the ground. Nichols comes through for Carlton. We've seen Nielsen get the ball for Melbourne, kick it up to where, where Benetti is in front of Adams. And as he gets his kick, he's pushed, but play on. And it's over the boundary line again and out of bounds. And it is very close to quarter time here in the first quarter. Can't be more than a minute of play left in this first quarter. Again, the throw in. We see Nichols and Byers against each other this time. Neither can win the ball. Tassie Johnson kicks it off the ground. Mithin coming for it now. Handballs it across to Tassie Johnson. Tassie Johnson back to Mithin. Mithin has a shot from 50 yards. And I think it has just missed. A lovely shot by Mithin. But the wind took the ball away just a fraction of a second uh, before it got near the, the goal post. And Melbourne at two goals, three. And uh, Carlton at two goals, three. Very, very close to quarter time. We've had four minutes of time on in this quarter. The scores are level, 2-3 each, as Peter Barry kicks the ball out for the Blues. From the Richmond goal, it's a lovely drop kick, beautifully timed. It's spinning handsomely on its way, and the pack sort of get fouled up, and they don't know whether to come forward or back. It was so well timed. Roweth finally pounces on the ball and clears it out of bounds, 20 yards upfield from where he kicked it on the uh, dead pocket over there. Number two is John Nichols, 20 is Lost, eight is Tassie Johnson, Byers went up and knocked it down, Barassi grabs hold of the man who grabbed it, now it's picked up by Tassie Johnson, Tassie Johnson has hold of it, his left foot kick is high, it's towards Benetti who's waiting for it, Benetti in the middle of two, Mithin couldn't mark it either, Bluey Adams goes through, he can't grab hold of it, but look at this, this is uh, Nilsson who can, Nilsson has a deliberate shot here, it's a left foot kick, but uh, it's one flag only. Melbourne in front by that margin, two goals four to Carlton, two goals three. Five minutes of time on gone. Very close here to quarter time. We're waiting for Peter. That was a beauty. Right over the top of the pack and Barassi at his best. A magnificent mark and there's the quarter time siren and the scores are one point in favour of Melbourne. 2-4 two to 2-3 two at quarter time. We'll get the ball. John Nichols kicks it over high towards the half forward line, but we see Byers coming through for Melbourne. And Byers has marked the ball a little over the centre wing position. Kicks it down towards the centre half forward, but it's straight back to Nichols. These two are playing kick to kick. Oh, good football, this Nichols, Jeff. He's a wonderful footballer. Yeah, just, I know when we played him out at Eston the other week there, he certainly turned us uh, back time and time again, and he really showed us how to play in this ruck. Lovely kick by Nichols out towards the centre wing position. In front of the pack was Dixon. He couldn't hold it. Keneally comes through. He gets the ball. He's grabbed. Umpire Swab allows the play to go on. Byers gets it. Handballs across to Dixon. Williams is there. And there's a free kick to Byers. He's brought to the ground by Collins or Cox. And the free kick will go to Byers on the centre wing position. Byers kicks it towards the centre half forward position. We see Wesley Lobson have the ball. Go for it. And Anderson comes through. Knocks the ball ahead of him. Silvani comes in, dodges around Keneally. Mithin grabs him. He's not in possession of the ball. And it'll be a free kick to Silvani on the half-back flank for Carlton. 6-4 to 6-5. One point in favour of Carlton. Very close to half-time. Ball up towards the half-forward line. We see Carlton coming down towards the half-forward line. Man fumbles the ball badly. Miller kicks it off the ground, but Cox is there. Gets rid of the ball, and three Melbourne players. One of them is Hassaman and Miller. Miller gets the ball, kicks it towards the half-forward line, but it's Barry in front of Mithin, and Barry has marked the ball. Coming up towards the half-time mark, one point of difference, and there's Barry about to kick it out towards the centre wing. A high drop kick. We see Keneally there, and Crow. Crow knocks the ball away from Keneally over the boundary line and out of bounds. Throw in. We see Buckley go, but he knocked it down. There's a chance for Collins. Collins gets the ball, kicks it up towards the half-forward line, where we see Miller try to take a one-hander. He has the ball. Kicks it with a left foot kick, but it's over the boundary line and out of bounds. On the centre wing position, very close to half-time, and we're waiting for the ball to be thrown in, and as we do so, it's 20 marks to uh, Melbourne, and to Carlton, 29, and Freeze, 18 to 19 in favour of Carlton. One free to difference. Here for Carlton is Bruce Williams. He gets the ball... And behind the play, we see Buckley bring a Melbourne player down. It was Adams, and a free kick will go to Adams again. Carlton do never. He will receive a free kick. He was grabbed at his uh, uh, Williams, Bruce Williams, in the centre of the ground. Bruce Williams about to kick the ball from the centre. On his mark was Tunbridge. It's a good kick. And uh, we see over the top with Sankey. Sankey is out marking Miller at centre-half forward. Uh, 
I don't know what, where, they're, where they're playing Collis at the moment because Sankey is at centre half forward. Uh, Donaldson is on a half forward flank. I think Collis must be having a run in the, in the ruck, Jeff. You could have a look at that in a moment. I will have a look in a moment too, Ian. There's quite a crowding here at this stage. There's Sankey's kick. It's a high punt kick up towards the forward line. We see uh, Byers in front of... Uh, Nichols kicked off the ground, back towards the centre of the half-back position. Miller is there for Melbourne, gets his kick, kicks it up towards the centre of the ground, where Wesley Loft is in front, has the ball knocked away by Johnson. Barkley Cox is there, runs around, kicks it out wide, but it's straight towards Roweth. Oh, and Roweth has marked the ball, and Murray kick jumped into him whilst he was marking it. And uh, the umpire went up to have a word with him, a kick out towards Hasselman, and Mann has marked the ball. Barkley Cox standing with his hand in the air. Barkley Cox went to knock the ball away from him as he was falling to the ground. It looked worse than that from the public's point of view, but that's all he attempted to do. As the man kicks it up towards the forward pocket, Barassi is outmarked, beaten badly by uh, Silvani, and this is definitely not a fit Barassi in my book. Now we see Silvani from the back pocket kick it down towards the centre wing position. Roweth and kick against each other. Roweth in front again. His outmarked kick for the second time, and uh, Roweth is playing well in this centre wing position for Melbourne. One point, the difference in favour of Carlton, very close to half-time. Rowith kicks back towards the same forward pocket. We see Mithen going for it, and Buckley. Buckley gets the ball, runs into trouble, handballs it across to uh, Adams, Anderson, but Mithen is there. It's a free kick against Melbourne. Free kick against Melbourne. It will be taken by Buckley. Umpire Swab having a word with Barassi, telling him what the free kick is for. <laughs> Nithin also comes in, there's a captain and the vice-captain of Melbourne, and they certainly don't like this decision, and umpire Swab is letting them know that he's umpiring the game, and get out of it, Barassi, let me do the job. Buckley has the ball, kicks it out towards the centre wing position, we see Len Mann coming over the top of the pack as Byers, but it's a free kick to Len Mann, on the, nearly up towards the half-forward flank for Melbourne. Then Mann uses a drop punt down towards the full forward position where Midden goes for his in front, has the ball knocked away from him. Coming through is Buckley. We see uh, Barassi there. Bang goes a whistle for half time and Melbourne are six goals four, trailing Carlton by one point, six goals five. 23 minutes into the third quarter, Brereton of Carlton kicks the ball to Collins on the wing and Collins darts off. He passes the ball short towards uh, Collis. Collis drops it, picked up by Hasselman, who trying to go on with it. Instead of passing it to Dixon, which was meant, he passed it down the throat of a Melbourne player, and Melbourne win it out. Here's Hasselman going forward. A good torpedo punch towards Louis Adams. Louis Adams trying to play on with the ball. He was trying to play on. Serge Silvani pulled him down, and I think Adams was very lucky. He saw that uh, Mithen was running past. He was trying to get across to hand pass it to him, and he fainted it just in time. That's the luckiest kick that Bluey's had since the flood, I think, Tony. Very lucky to get that one. Here he is, only 40 yards out, pretty well straight in front. One flag. Norm Smith, a little forlorn, also agitated with Dennis Cordner. Hasselman has had 19 kicks to Barkley Cox's 14. Dixon has had 17 to Collins' 11. Silvani has had 16 kicks too. The ball is out in the back line. 20 is Loft, 4 is Buckley, 16 is Sankey. Byers knocks it down, but Brereton sharks it. His kick is into the centre of the ground. Nichols very nearly marked it. Over the back towards Buckley Cox. He's to be tackled by Thoroughgood. Thoroughgood's got him. The ump says play on, taken by Collis. Collis's kick is into the full forward uh, pocket where neither Crompton nor Williams can take it. Nichols whacks it with the back of his hand towards Lay. Lay gives it to Crompton. Crompton, clear, cuts a swathe through the defence and puts Melbourne with a springboard kick into attack. The ball is across onto the half-forward line, taken by Sankey. 
Tenki punches it out there to Murray Kick, who nicely sidesteps. Kick's boot is onto the half-forward line, dropped by Lay. Behind the play, Tom Carroll, as 22, is on the ball. Now he comes out without it, and Melbourne clear again. The ball is only 20 yards from where that pack congregated. Byers has hold of it, bends off with the arm, taken by uh, Melbourne. They get the ball onto the half-forward line towards Barassi, and Barassi is clear. Barassi's kick is into the goal square, chasing across into the pocket to get hold of it as Keneally, but he can't bring it into play, and George Bugden nearly goes for a burp. Well, Barassi's coming into the play a little bit now. He's, he's definitely been shaded by Sergio Silvani. Uh, whether Barassi can retain his fitness for this vital last half, we don't know. It remains to be seen. Silvani's still playing well. Silvani's hook kick is onto the half-back line for his side. Trevor Johnson dropped the mark. In goes Dixon. So does Collins. Out comes Trevor Johnson with the ball. Handballs it to Nielsen. Nielsen from the half-forward flank on the Olympic stand wing. Kicks it upfield. It was touched on the way through. No mark here. Picked up on the first hop uh, uh, a volley by uh, Peter Barry. He clears the ball downfield 30 yards. And the mark is taken by Dixon, who is in front of Barkley Cox. And Barassi breaks the wrist lock. Dixon's kick is short. Sankey has marked it. Melbourne 10-9. Carlton 9 goals 5. 10 points the difference. Oh, the kick is holding up into the wind a bit. Barassi upset his judgment. Has a man's kick is into the full forward pocket. Taken by Peter Barry. Over the line. Bumped solidly too after going across the line with the ball by Blue Adams. Byers and Barassi for Melbourne. Byers going up for it and it's knocked down by Sankey. Sankey clears the ball downfield. Trevor Johnson runs into trouble. Barassi comes in for the ball. Goes down. Taken by Barkley Cox. Threads his way through two players. Comes back on his heels. Turns it towards Collins. And Collins takes the mark. Has a man grabs him. Ten points the difference. Collins is on the halfback line on the Olympic stand wing for Carlton. His kick is almost onto the half-forward line towards John Nichols and Collis. Over the line it goes with Bob Miller putting it across there with a boot. Miller is 33. Replaced John Lord in the first quarter. Lord's uh, hamstring muscle is gone again and it's likely he'll be out for a couple of weeks at the least. Over the back of the pack, it's knocked away and taken by Carlton. Bruce Williams hasn't been in the play much now. Darts around, gets a good effective kick in. It's almost into the goal square. Melbourne dropped the mark. The ball is gone to Brereton. Brereton's hook shot is wide of everything. And no, he lets it through for one, one flag. Must have just got in for one flag. And now it's nine points the difference. Fly foot high and over the back and waiting for it is Keneally. Punches when in trouble. Gives it to Dixon. Dixon, the Tassie medalist, kicks the ball into the half-forward line. They go for it here. Tassie Johnson couldn't hold onto it. Opposition number eight, Benetti takes it. And Benetti's defence all day has been good. His kick is onto the half-forward line. They race in for it from all angles. It's kicked off the ground by Crompton, a state cricketer. Crompton's kick is into the centre of the ground. Picked up by Tunbridge, but Tunbridge came out without the ball for a change. He slipped on it but missed it. Picked up by the dynamic Barassi. Barassi's put down behind the play by Gordon Collis. Barassi's down. The ball is into the full forward bucket and it's over the line. Barassi's leg's gone. A throw in in the full forward pocket. Play is underway again. Picked up by Bruce Williams. Kicks the ball off the ground uh, with a kick that would have done credit to Stanley Matthews. The ball is into the full forward pocket in front of the scoreboard. They go for it again. But the up appealing for it. And uh, the, the kick is going against Melbourne, however, and will be taken by Silvani, who played a terrific game in defence. Serge the Silvan. Kicks the ball high. Has a man in front. Chaps it out there towards Nilsson. Can Nilsson pick it up? Now it's Collins. He was sandwiched by two Melbourne players, but still he came out with the ball. Kicked it upfield towards Cox. Cox is almost in the centre of the ground where he is playing. He kicks the ball into, onto the half-forward line. Crompton chases it with Brereton. Brereton is going the faster. Brereton is tackled by Lay, but he's still going. He's trying to gather it in now. The little fellow has just missed it, and Melbourne will clear. It was two against one. Lay clears the ball upfield towards Dixon, who's on his own. There's not a player within 50 yards of him. He bounces it at once. Now he's going to have to kick it. And he kicks it too to Cassie Johnson at centre-half forward. Cassie Johnson out of centre half forward, long way out of range, he must be the best part of 70 yards, on his mark is lost. Cassie Johnson's kick is a high one, the wind gets it, pulls it back a bit, leading in the race for the ball is the Carlton player. Buckley, but the umpire says play on, Midden comes out with the ball, a left foot kick towards the goal square, straight towards Peter Barry. Peter Barry, Carlton's full back, kicks it wide towards the centre wing position, where Collins is there, Collins has marked the ball, and he handballs it cleverly to Cox, Cox is caught by Matten, by man, but he comes around him, kicks it up towards the half-forward line, but for Melbourne coming out and playing a good game is Trevor Johnson, and he beats Donaldson for the ball on the half-back flank. 
give is Trevor Donson on the half-back bank, kicking it wide to the centre wing position. It's going wide to the, to the boundary line and over the line before Collins could get to the ball. There's Barassi there limping towards us. That groin of his must be troubling him, particularly after that last let down on the, on the ground. The throw in and we sank, see Sankey and Mann. Mann wins it. Oh, come in as Barassi tried to kick along the ground. He's on the ground again, Barassi. And we see the ball going to the boundary line again and over the bound. And Barassi's taking a long time to get up. He's still limping badly. The throw in and this time Buckley is going for Buckley over the top. Knocks it down towards Cox. Cox comes forward for Carlton. Kicks the ball towards the forward line. Carroll comes out for Crompton. Crompton has marked the ball. In the last line of defence for uh, Melbourne. Graham Donaldson thought that he didn't. But uh, there was no doubt about it. Crompton had to mark all the way. And umpire Swab paid it and quite correctly too. A short pass on the back line out towards uh, Lay. Lay gets the ball, kicks it wide towards the centre wing position. And uh, up for it was uh, Hasselman. The ball was knocked away. Picked up by Landman. Up towards the forward line for Melbourne. Midden has the ball. Being chased by Barry. He eludes him. Kicks it up towards the forward line. It's going towards Byers and Silvani. Silvani's got too much pace for Byers. But it has gone through for one point before Silvani could stop it from crossing that line. And Melbourne are 11 goals, 10. Leading Carlton, 10 goals, 8. We're 10 minutes into the final quarter. Here's a further comment on the state of the game from champion Ruckman for the Essendon team, which heads our competition, Jeff Leake. Well, Tony, both teams with their back, back lines are well on top at this stage. I'd say that Melbourne and Carlton backmen are playing for dear life right now. But there's no room for error here at all. Any goals as a kick or kicks that we got from the forwards are well earned today. Peter Barry kicks off. He's fallen into the role of full-back for the Carlton team very well. The ball is onto the half-back line. Bob Crow goes in for it, favouring a leg, picked up by Dixon. Dixon's still on the ball. Dixon's a terrier. He'll gather it in. No, he's brushed aside now. Trevor Johnson helps him out. He's pulled down by uh, John Nichols. The ball goes across to Buckley. Buckley handballs to Sankey, and Sankey clears the ball for Carlton into the centre of the ground. It's Miller behind, trying to punch the ball away from Collis. He pushed him in the back. It's a free kick to Gordon Collis on the centre wing. Collis a drop punt into the head towards Nichols. Nichols, can he gather it in? Oh, he's pushed down, and that's not an easy thing to do with that 16 stone man there. And the ball is cleared by Melbourne's defence, which has played pretty well. The ball is over the line, and Barassi is again in a lot of trouble with his legs. Throughout the season, or for the majority of it, both of his flies have been very heavily strapped. They dropped him from the, the team. They didn't drop him. They left him out to give him a chance to recover uh, for this week's game uh, in last week's home and away games. But now he seems to be in trouble again. That's Buckley getting up high. The ball goes down to Bruce Williams, runs into Barassi. Barassi's still favouring a leg, picked up by Crow. Crow goes over Barassi, kicks the ball into the centre of the ground, beats Murray kick. Two Melbourne players collide. Has a man and Roweth. Roweth goes on with it, tackles Cox, who has the ball. The ball goes to Thorogood. Thorogood loses it to kick. Kick belts the ball up there into the full forward zone. Tom Cowell behind, can't mark. But then coming through Barrett. He's pulled down by Crompton, picking it up Trevor Johnson. He's pushed in the back by Tom Carroll. The ball wasn't over the line. Picked up and kicked off the ground by Rowett. And the ball is coming along the Olympic stand flank. Well, umpire Swab let it go then. There were some hard, vigorous flashes. And umpire Swab could have sorted it out two or three times, but decided to let it go. A Melbourne player, Len Mann, just ran into umpire Swab, who was not in position from the throw-in. The ball is kicked along the ground. Murray kick gets it. Kicks it up towards the forward line. Coming out now is Rowett. He's brushed aside. He pushes uh, Brereton out of the road. And uh, umpire again calls play on. Again, the ball is on the ground. We see Donaldson up along towards Gil Brereton come through. And also for Melbourne is Thorogood. Brereton the terrier, but Rowett kicks it off the ground. And the umpire's in the road again. And this time, Len Mann gets the ball for Melbourne. Has a kick, but the ball is over the boundary line and out of bounds. Huey McPherson, the manager, is, uh, the, uh, is talking with Norm Smith, the, uh, the runner. He's just been out to see Barassi to find out how he is. Barassi is staying on, so it can't be that bad. The ball is... Uh, is in play in Brereton's hands again. And the ump is going to bounce it up on the half-forward line for the Blues, who are still going to that Richmond goal and finding that goal area hard to negotiate. Bob Miller passes it back, and he'll bounce it again. I feel umpire Swab's umpiring in this last quarter has deteriorated a little bit from his excellent first half. Here's the bounce up. Sankey going up for it. He knocks it forward with a giant knock towards Nichols. Nichols racing for it with Trevor Johnson. Trevor Johnson gathers it in. Kicks it into the open spaces of the far flank. Chasing it there is Dixon. Dixon is being chased by Collins, but Collins is 10 yards away. There's his kick on to the centre wing. Up they go for it. Benetti up too early over Bluey Adams back. Allowing Barassi to come in. Barassi is beaten by his own player. And he doesn't mind that. It says Bluey Adams going like a train. He runs into trouble. He didn't have the ball. Free kick to Bluey Adams. And that is a good decision from umpire Swab. Barassi's coming off. Bad blow for Melbourne. 
golly how they go through the rest of the finals matches if they're going to be without him. Young Townsend with Norm Smith, the coach, is about to come on. Barassi's over the line, Townsend comes on, and Bluey Adams takes his kick from 60 yards out and straight in front. He's got a kick like a donkey, and if he gets his boot into it, he could score. The ball into the full forward zone, out comes Mitten. Mitten with the ball, no, he's beaten, and uh, Silvani does the kicking with Williams. The ball is across towards Dixon, but it's out of bounds on the far flank in front of Bay 13, which is crammed with feverish fans. Well, I feel that Barassi must be really hurt to come on on his own initiative. He calls for the trainer to bring the other player on, and Barassi must not like coming off because he's too great a team man. It's 40 minutes into the final quarter. Bad luck for Barassi in Melbourne, but I always say that a fit man's better than a half fit man, even if he is a champion. Townsend played very well last week, so he's got to count for himself nicely today too. Eight points of difference, still eight points of difference, Melbourne in front. Ball is almost in the centre of the ground, scooping it up is Barkley Cox, but there's a free kick been given to Carlton, and it's going to Graham Donaldson. Donaldson set the tempo for Carlton's early play with a magnificent goal from the half-forward flank, which must have gone 60 yards if it went one inch. Here's his kick towards Turkey Tom, but he's out too soon. The ball misses him, it's behind Turkey Tom, picked up by Rowett. Rowett is grabbed by Tom Carroll and pulled down. Collis goes in hard for the ball. It's risk your life and everything here. Picked up by Silvani. Silvani's kick is centered to within 20 yards of the goal square. In they race for it at the Richmond end. Knocked away by Compton. Picked up by uh, Trevor Johnson. Has it booted away from his grasp by Ian Collins. Taken by Bruce Williams. Williams from 20 yards out. It's up to the six and it's two. That was Bruce Williams' second goal for Carlton. And now the score board shows that Melbourne have a lead of two points. It is 11 goals 10 to 11 goals 8. And we've been playing into this last quarter for almost 15 minutes. And here's the champion coming around the boundary line as they go into the play again. Barassi off the field. Picked up by Gill. Gill going like a racehorse. Here's his kick. He kicks it like a racehorse too. It's gone 60 yards. Upfield it goes into the full forward pocket. Turkey Tom, if he angles this one, it'll be a sensational goal. Just chipping in was uh, Crompton, got a hand to it, and that one would have been very close to a goal had Crompton not intercepted it between the... Uh, uh, the two uh, behind posts. That was a bad miss by Rowett, the fullback. He had the ball on his chest, but it slipped through before he could hang on to it. Rowett tries a short pass on the back line with only a point the difference, and the ball is, it doesn't come off, and there's a chance for Carlton. Brereton runs into the pack. He's caught with the ball, but if the ball is hugged to him, and I feel umpire Swab will bounce it up. Brereton gives umpire Swab the ball, a point the difference here. Swab bounces it. Byers knocks it out towards Dixon. Dixon's going to get his kick up towards the centre wing position. But there's too many Carlton players here. Crow is leading in the race for the ball, but is over the boundary line and out of bounds on the centre wing position. Barassi is getting a great hand from the Melbourne people and from any, anybody. There he is walking off with one of the trainers walking around the boundary line. Now the ball is about to be thrown in again on the centre wing position. And we see Donaldson going for it. He knocks his 10 or 15 yards, but straight towards Dixon. But the ball is over the boundary line again and out of bounds. And Melbourne have a lead of one point halfway through this last quarter. Barassi sits down with coach Norm Smith and chairman of selectors Dennis Cordner, a former champion ruckman and coming from a great football family, is on the left. Norm Smith, Doyen coach, heading up the most powerful football machine in league history and coming out on the ground is a Brownlow medalist in John James John James running onto the field as 19th man for Carlton how would you like to have a Brownlow medalist of last year on the field as 19th man here is the ball kicked forward by uh, by Crompton Crompton's kick is uh, is out of bounds and there'll be a throw in directly across the center wing with with James at uh, center half back at this particular moment Silvani has hold of the ball It's Sankey's kick, and he's kicking towards James. Collis goes in for it. Picked up by Silvani. Silvani's kick is into the full forward pocket. Over the back it goes. Trevor Johnson in racing for it is Rowett. Rowett is playing very bravely. Stands the tide of the buffeting and kicks the ball upfield. And Brian Lay takes another mark. There's John James in the picture now, number 10, as the ball is kicked further upfield. Gill goes up high as number 12, 9 is Buckley Cox, 50 is Byers, Buckley Cox with the ball is grabbed by Townsend but gets his kick in, there's his kick going in towards the full forward zone, Carroll's up and Carroll dropped it, the ball is picked up by James, James going in hard, the ball, the game is still very much in the balance, Burriton has hold of the ball, it's grabbed by Doc Rowett, Burriton's kick again, Burriton kicked one from this far out, or very nearly did um, earlier in play, it's uh, 55 yards from goal, 
He's had seven free kicks. The little bloke can only weigh about nine stone, gets his boot into it, very nearly a goal again, and up they fly, and behind the play, and waiting for it is Melbourne's lay, and he clears the ball. It's gone through for a behind Tony, kicked by Lay, and the score's a level. 19 minutes gone in the final quarter. 19 minutes gone. Next week it's Geelong versus Essendon in the second semi-final. But who will play the loser of that game? Will it be Melbourne or Carlton? Who could say at this stage with the scores level? Norm Smith looking at his watch. We are looking at ours. Norm, 19 minutes gone in the final term as Doc Rowett kicks it off. Rowett kicks not a particularly good one for a fullback. And we see the big Donaldson fly for me. Couldn't hold it. The ball is on the ground. A chance for Melbourne's Miller. Miller gets the ball. Kicks it towards the centre of the ground where Wesley Loft is well down towards the field from centre back kicks it up towards lay also there is donaldson donaldson's fighting hard as a captain should for his side and we see collins brought to the ground but umpire swab has caught for the ball he will bounce it on carlton's half forward flank with the scores level about 20 minutes into the last quarter there's hardly been any difference in the scores throughout there was one point difference at the first change one point difference at the second change 14 points at the third and now it's back to level pegging 20 minutes into the final turn thank you knocks it down towards the towards their forward line but it's lay for melbourne kick the ball out towards the half back flank the ball is over the boundary line and out of bounds again and uh, time is ticking away the scores are level as melbourne expected after last week's game this one against carlton is much different they played carlton last week too and then they won by 35 points carlton have only won on this ground once since 1949 there's the kick by kick up towards the forward line trevor johnson couldn't mark it and there's a chance for brereton Brereton has a shot for goal coming across the face of goal and there's a chance for Carroll, but the ball beats him over the boundary line and out of bounds. The crowd is just about going crazy. Excitement, excitement plus. This is one of the most exciting ones that's been here for a long time, Tony, I'm sure. They're really at their toes right now. It's only a game for those that never say die right here. In they go in hard for it again. There's plenty of weight in the pack. Nichols scoops it out, but the, his player smothers it. It's Williams, his rover. Towns in number 16. John James in the left of the picture with his socks down. 16 is Sankey. 34 Len Mann and 13 Donaldson. Donaldson knocks it in towards goal. Coming out to meet it is Trevor Johnson. Trevor Johnson, the old Melbourne veteran, clears the ball wide to the halfback flank. And it's going to be out of bounds again in front of the Olympic stand wing. 21 minutes of play gone in this last quarter. The scores are still level. It is between the centre line and the half forward flank to throw in. Byers gets the ball for Melbourne. And balls it across to Roweth. He's grabbed too high by Barclay Cox. And a free kick to Roweth on about the halfback line for Melbourne. This left footer will kick it up towards the centre of the wing position. Silvani goes for it, so does Tassie Johnson. Tassie Johnson knocks it ahead of him. Coming into uh, Shepherd him off was Anderson, but the ball is over the boundary line again, nearly towards Melbourne's half-forward line. Yuri McPherson is being overworked as Melbourne's messenger. Out he comes along the boundary line again towards where the pack is playing. He's got more messages to convey as Nichols puts his feet into a ball, and when that 16-stone frame gets behind it, it really sails. The ball has gone 55 yards upfield, if not 60. Picked up here by Miller, trying to pick it up. Kicked up the ground instead by Carlton towards John James. James playing on the forward line, whereas throughout his career he's played the defence. Taken upfield by Brereton, who marks the ball just over the allowable 10 yard limit. At this stage, Carlton have been very lucky with their free kicks, Tony. They've received 40 to Melbourne's 29. Frank Swab is in charge of the game. Those comments came from Jeff Leake, the Essendon vice captain. The ball is towards John James in the full forward pocket. Here he is running around the pack. He doesn't know whether to pass it or kick it. He's late in kicking it, but he finds Williams. Oh, Williams is only 35 yards from goal, and he's almost straight in front. 23 minutes gone. In two minutes time, it'll be time on. Williams is almost straight in front. He's a pretty good kicker, falling short. Oh, he didn't get into it enough. The ball in front, is that a mark to Melbourne? Trevor Johnson appeals for it, and he's been given it. Sankey disagrees, but Melbourne are relieved. Norm Smith signals to him to kick it right along the flank. Kick it as close as you can to the line. That's what he does, and it's out of bounds in front of Townsend, on his 20th man. Melbourne have their full complement of reserves on. John Lord sent a half forward off in the first quarter with another pulled hamstring muscle. And now Barassi off in the final quarter. John James takes the ball behind the pack. He's tackled by Roweth, but he kicks it in there towards Turkey Tom. Just couldn't mark it. Oh, nip and tuck there. They're chasing it into the pocket. Roweth has hold of it. Dixon gives the lead upfield, drops back. Dixon chasing it now, but the ball is just about to go out of bounds as those two players clash. Dixon and kick, and Dixon can just about keep his feet, and that's all. Yes, kick clash with Dixon in, and Dixon was, the, the, was the, the player to come off with, to throw in. And Silvani goes, and so does Byers, picked up by uh, Townsend of Melbourne, but it wasn't a very good kick. Collins gets it, gave it towards Johnny James, and uh, 
It's not James, it's Nichols. Collis. Collis it is for Carlton. And Collis has the ball kicked it with a lovely drop kick towards the full forward position. And has the free kick that could win the game. It's going to be a free kick to the Carlton player. It is John Nichols. He has received a free kick for being interfered with whilst going for the ball. He would be no more than 30 yards out on a uh, 45 degree angle, maybe even a little bit more in his favour. The scores are dead level, Melbourne 11-10, Carlton 11-10, with Nichols, vice-captain of the Carlton team, and one of the best ruckmen to ever play the game, has this free kick straight in front of the sticks. Here's Nichols about to run in to kick it, now Trevor Johnson on his mark. A score will put them in front, it's a punt kick, it's going to be a score, it doesn't matter what it is, but Carlton are in front by one point, 11 goals, 11, it's 11 goals, 10. How long have we been playing? We've been playing exactly 25 minutes. We are now into time on. Oh, what a cracker, Jack Tony. Melbourne backmen have been overworked absolutely this quarter. Three parts of the play thus far has been down this, this Melbourne back pocket. I, I'm wondering if they can keep it out. Melbourne have got to get the ball forward. Carlton have been dominating in the last five minutes. They've had the ball into attack all the time. The ball is onto the halfback line for the Melbourne team. Sankey has hold of it. Melbourne in trouble here. He's grabbed by Lay, punches the ball away towards Keneally. Keneally gathers it in, then can't keep it in play. He's put over the line by Murray kick, and there's to be a throw in. No, there's going to be a free kick, Tony, against uh, Sankey for, for before. The Brian Lay has the kick. Lay kicks the ball onto the half-forward line. They fly foot there. Byers trying to mark from behind. But Silvani, who's put hands of glue up there all day, brings down another mark. Carlton in front, 77 points to 76. One point the difference, and we've been playing one minute into time on. There should be about five minutes of time on, so there could be four minutes of play left. Silvani's kick is wide towards kick. Melbourne aren't tagging their men in defence, and it's, uh, it's Carlton taking the mark. Melbourne 14 points up at three-corner time, and looking capable of going right on with it have found Carlton coming right back into the game. Here's John James, danger again, this will be a score. James has a kick into the goal square. Oh, it must have come across with a win. It's been picked up by Crompton. Crompton kicks to the cross, and it'll be a throw-in. Brereton appeals for a deliberate kick out, but the umpire says it's a throw-in. And a throw-in it'll be on the Olympic stand flank. The throw-in, Byers knocks it down with two fists closed. Down towards the half forward line, Roweth is there, is being chased now by Gill, pulled over the line, and the boundary umpire is right on the spot because Adams had the ball and was about to charge away with it. The throw in, and we see going for it, Byers and also man the ball, forced to clear a chance for Carlton. Gill has got the ball, running towards the goals, a long kick, and this could be the sealer. This could be the sealer. It's one more point, a vital point, because that puts Carlton two points in front, 11 12 to 11 10. We are now two minutes into the time on period in the final quarter of a sensational first semi-final. Norm Smith giving signals to his players. Dennis Cordner agitated as the ball is kicked out by Doc Rowett. He favours it uh, to the flank again. And Bluey Adams picks it up. Can he get away with it? He does. Melbourne in motion. The ball into the centre. Tassie Johnson standing flat-footed. Wesley Lost spoiled his mark. The ball picked up over there by Townsend. Townsend's kick is towards Laurie Mitten, the vice-captain. Mitten can't pick it up. The ball is cleared by Peter Barry. Gets his boot into it. And it's out of bounds there. Uh, on the half-forward line for Melbourne. But more accurately, between the centre wing and the half-forward line. The throw-in. And this time we see going for Big John Nichols and man, they've been opposed to each other all day. Nobody gets a knockout. Keneally couldn't pick it up. It's picked up by John Nichols. And Carlton are coming into it again. This time it's out towards the half-back flank. And just as Thurgood kicked it, he's put to the ground. But he got his kick first. It's over the boundary line again on the centre wing position with Carlton still holding an advantage of two points. Three minutes of time on gone in the first semi-final. And Carlton two points in front. Melbourne to win the game and uh, play the loser of next week's second semi. Must score a goal. The ball is picked up by Bluey Adams. This kick is marked by Benetti, who again is playing grandly in defence. Benetti is on the half-back flank. Takes his time, knowing that time favours his side, and he sinks his boot into a perfect drop kick, which spins magnificently as it flies down the wing, taken by John James just inside the line. A flick pass, which could have been a throw to kick. Kick boots the ball upfield, and it's out of bounds. About the... Uh, 70 yards from the Carlton goal. Thoroughgood has his hands up to his eyes. Graham Donaldson coming in to the ball, number 13. Punches it to Thoroughgood. Thoroughgood boots it back, and Melbourne go into attack by the barest margin because the ball is just over the centre wing. Two points of difference. Carlton in front by those two points. And what a reversal following their 35-point defeat last week 
when playing on this ground and against the same team. Here's the throw in on the centre wing. Sankey against Byers. Byers is rushed out. The umpire lets play go on. Dixon is grabbed. And this time the umpire's whistle blows. It's a free kick to Dixon on the centre wing. He's got to get Melbourne right down into attack immediately. No time wasted. Dick King, Dixon's kick goes up towards the half forward flank and high above the pack with Phil Barney, but he couldn't hold it. There's a chance for Melbourne. They're coming again. Down towards Hasselman and Rowett. They spoil each other and play on. The ball is on the ground. There's a pack of players. Barkley Cox gets it for Carlton. Couldn't get his kick. He's pulled to the ground. Coming in now is Cassie Johnson. He's done and it's a free kick. Free kick to Carlton and it's going against uh, Tunbridge. Going against Tunbridge will be taken by Anderson, the halfback flanker for Carlton, and a welcome relief for them at this stage of the game. Four minutes of time on gone, and Melbourne lost their golden opportunity when Hesseman and Roweth flew for the same mark. They spoke a mark that was certain to be Melbourne. The ball is into the full forward pocket for Melbourne. It's just over the half forward line. Tunbridge is chasing it, but he's not chasing it fast enough. But then he comes in with plenty of dash and boots the ball along the ground. Just towards Bluey Adams. Now it's been picked up by Murray Kick. Kick is tackled by Dixon, and his boot is out of bounds on Carlton's half forward line. And Melbourne have lost their opportunity. Yes, I agree with Tony, and this Melbourne can get it up there in a matter of seconds. They couldn't possibly win this game. Look at Norm Smith looking at his watch. We are looking at ours. The stopwatch marked up in fifths of a second, and 30 minutes of time has gone in this final quarter. The oh, win. What a great final quarter, too. Carl's still on top in that ruck position there, and they hit that down, and John James has the ball again. Johnny James gets the ball, catches it out, but it's Miller of Melbourne, and Miller has marked the ball in front of Collis in the last line of defence for Melbourne. Miller kicks it into the man under mark, the Cardinal centre football, and now Collis is coming into tackling. Miller runs around him, kicks it up towards the centre wing position, out to, uh, but umpire Swab has called for uh, another pass, and uh, he's calling Collis back. He said he's run over the mark, a penalty of 15 yards. It won't help in Melbourne very much, it's just wasting time for Carlton. Still two points in Carlton's favour, 11-12 to 11-10 as Miller gets his second kick and boots it into the centre of the ground, that was a good kick, look at the pack, Carlton swapping the back line, picked up by Nielsen, gives it to Hesseman, gives it to Dixon, come on Melbourne, they're going nicely to Adams, Adams on the forward line, boots it into the goal square, up they go, is that something in park or is it not? Anderson pounces on him, puts him in an Indian death lock, and it's anybody's guess what's going on from here, Smith in the vice captain runs up with the ball, boots it through, what's the umpire's decision? No score there, the ball is coming back. Well, your guess is as good as mine. The uh, players don't even seem to know whose kick it's going to be. Nichols comes in and talks to the umpire. Carlton are really swapping, swapping that uh, back line. So it's going to be a bounce up. Umpire swap is going to bounce it 15 yards from goal. Byers goes up, knocks it down. Tassie Johnson has hold of it, tries to break his way out of the pack. Peter Barry kicks it back towards John Nichols. Down goes Tassie Johnson after grabbing the ball, and it'll be another bounce up. And we've had six minutes of time on. Carlton still two points in front as Byers knocks it out there wide towards his uh, man. Nilsson can't get rid of it. The sire is gone. Melbourne are beaten, and Carlton win the day. Ken Hands is so jubilant. Chris Pablo whacking him on the chest, and Carlton go into the preliminary final. Norm Smith shakes hands with his men, and a thrilling first semi-final is over. Ken Hands, coach of the Carlton team, congratulates Leo Brereton and Tom Carroll. Through comes Gordon Collis, the two coaches shake hands. Dennis Cordner shakes Ken Han's hand. Percy Bentley, a great player for Richmond in their premiership days, is there adjusting his tie, and Carlton are jubilant. Bob Crow comes through, Ian Collins. After 14 points down at three-quarter time, the Blues have come out and taken it away by two points. Melbourne dejected. John Nichols coming off the field now. He played a great part in their win. But Melbourne, as always, wonderful losers. Melbourne scored only one behind in the last quarter. Carlton scored two goals, five. One behind to Melbourne in the final quarter. The final scores again. Carlton, 11 goals, 12, have defeated Melbourne in the first semi-final. 11 goals, 10.